Fans Beyond Wrestling, Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place. Tournament for tomorrow, two. Block B, the final first round match. JT Dunn versus Candice LeRae, the first time ever. There's a lot at stake here. And you can tell already, Candice LeRae sidestep. JT Dunn, throw over the floor, throw the ropes, and driving him down. DDT on the concrete. That's how you're going to start off your match. Now she's got the daunting task. She's gonna get JT Dunn back in the ring to pin him. An unfortunate size difference. Candace not really thinking that one through. I wonder how much energy she had to expend just to get Dunn back in the ring. Dunn back up to his feet. I don't even know how. Misses with the back elbow. Now Candace up on the shoulders, taking him down, dropping him on his head again. This time going for the pin. One, two, three. Oh, man. Candace has got to stay on JT Dunn. Now just raining down the elbows. Trying to build momentum off the ropes. But Dunn, finally able to get some offense in. Sending Candace towards the heavens. Just to hit her with hell. The knee to the face, hook in the leg. And got a near fall out of that exchange. I mean, a smart strategy considering that if you want to be successful, if you want to be victorious, if you want to be the winner of tournament for tomorrow, two block B, you're gonna to have to defeat three opponents today. That means you're gonna to have to finish off your opponents as quickly as possible to try and be as fresh as you can heading into the next match. Easier said than done. Now JT Dunn just using his size to his advantage. Number of shoulder blocks in the corner. Making it very difficult for Candace to counter or build any sort of momentum. Now she's just crumpled in a heap. Dunn doing his best to shake the cobwebs. And there we see a rare mistake out of JT Dunn. Went to hook his opponent's leg. Candace was in the ropes. JT strong enough to move her away. But that wasted time could have cost him right there. Now just driving the knee into the spine. A bit uncharacteristic from what we're used to seeing out of JT Dunn. Typically the smaller of the two competitors in the ring. And now we see the striking on display from JT Dunn. Caught her with that back elbow. You see the red elbow pad on the right arm. You gotta think that JT Dunn at some point is gonna be looking to set up Candice LeRae for that rolling elbow. Oh, and what a counter! Candice was coming off the top with that cross body. JT sidestepping her, getting the knee. And there we see him learning from his mistakes, rolling her out of the way of the ropes. Still could have put her down. Not a bad strategy out of JT Dunn, trying to attack as many of the body parts as possible, but really weakening that midsection, that abdomen. A lot of the core strength required for Candace to fly around the ring, springboarding off the ropes. It's gonna be taken away from her if JT can neutralize that core strength. But JT Dunn looking for that textbook vertical suplex. Candace LeRae dropping down to a knee, making the most of her weight. But JT's still fighting her off. JT starting to get frustrated right here. Can't lose focus, can't take his eyes off the prize. Of course, the winner of this match will advance to face Christina Von Erie in the second round of TFT2 Block B. She was victorious over David Starr, who JT Dunn has been teaming with. Of course, we saw Candice LeRae and Christina Von Erie going one-on-one -on -one last night, a match that you can also check out for free at youtube.com slash beyondwrestling. Be interesting to see if they squared off once again. But now, finally, Candice LeRae trying to shift the momentum back on her side. Caught JT Dunn off guard with that head scissors. Came charging in, catching herself on the apron. But unfortunately, landing on that steel cable Again, already the damage done to the solar plexus. Not a good landing for Candice LeRae. Better than falling to the floor, you gotta think. Maybe she was playing possum. 
kicking JT Dunn, trying to get him onto the floor, but Dunn holding on to the ropes. Springboard and in, was looking for the second bomb, instead got met with a kick. Candice making the most of this opportunity, hooking to opponent's legs. And even with JT Dunn's weight stacked up on his shoulder, still kicks out. JT Dunn, typically a fan favorite here at Beyond Wrestling, but it seems as though Candice LeRae has the support of the other wrestlers and fans here today. And now able to convert that head scissors into a submission predicament, trying to bend the neck of JT Dunn. And connect with some knees for good measure. But Dunn able to overpower her, brings her over the knee with the backbreaker, turning it into the gut buster and following the combination with a diving clothesline. Great execution out of JT Dunn, is that gonna be it? Still not enough. There's still a number of tricks that JT Dunn can pull out of his bag if need be. But right now, it looks like he's gonna be setting up for that rolling elbow. Waiting for Candace to get back up to her feet, she's done her homework. And now JT Tung tumped overhead with a balls plex. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be enough to pick up the victory. One, two, oh! Close call for Candice LeRae. Not getting discouraged though. Still trying to take the fight to JT Dunn, stumbling around. And Dunn just pushing her away. A number of shots to the shoulders. Doing whatever she can to continue to weaken her opponent. Got him hooked by the head once again. I don't know how many more shots to the head Dunn can afford. Able to counter the neck breaker attempt. Now might be looking for that Dave Cole bomb. Candace able to hold on. And Dunn perhaps picking up a trick from his match with Michael Elgin at point of no return with the buckle bomb. Both of these competitors landing a kick in the corner. Candice LeRae looks worse for wear. Dunn now positioning her on that top turnbuckle. Dunn going to the high rent district. What does he have in mind right here? Might be looking for a superplex. Got the head and neck hooked. Candice holding on, now firing away some body blows. Dunn spilling hard to the canvas. Candice trying to find her footing. And Dunn, almost knocking her to the floor. Not sure what Dunn could be looking for right here. A momentary distraction from the other wrestlers. And there we see the mustache ride. The neck breaker from the second rope. One, two, three. JT Dunn somehow, someway, still managing to kick out. And that might be the best that Candice LeRae has in her arsenal. No, instead, looking to scale back up to that top row. Might have been looking for a moonsault. We'll never know. Dawn misses with the super kick. Another shot to the midsection. Dawn able to sidestep her. And there's the knockout elbow. Able to take off the elbow pad and knock out his opponent for the victory. What an incredible match between JT Dunn and Candice LeRae. And there we see the elbow pad. Nothing but bone and skin right to the side of your head. There ain't no coming back from that. A valiant effort from Candice LeRae. Very, very impressive so far in her debut weekend at Beyond. We're unable to move on in the tournament for tomorrow too. As JT Dunn will advance to face Christina Von Erie in the second round and perhaps avenge his loss or I should say his partner's loss in the first round. JT Dunn checking on the condition of his opponent. Candice LeRae gonna try and bring her back up to her feet. Because what an incredible effort. I mean, there were really a couple times where it seemed like Candice had the match won. How about the DDT on the floor from the start? The neck breaker from the second rope. But JT Dunn will advance.